Hi, this is Gwen Peterson. I'm a certified health coach with Take Shape for Life. And um, I wanted to record a video that I just posted live in my client support group um, about struggling and giving yourself grace. So um, it's so funny for me when I'm interacting with clients how the same theme can come up over and over again. And right now the theme is I'm struggling, I'm doing the best I can, but then I'm going off the rails and I'm going to start tomorrow or, or whatever that conversation is. And people don't see the program the way I do because I'm able to um, disassociate eating something off plan with going off the rails. Because numerically, when you look at it, let's say you start the day off great and you do a shake in the morning and then you do a pancake at 10 and then you do ziti marinara at noon or one. And then all of a sudden you eat a brownie. <laughs> like, hello, that happens. So then what do you do? We normally, I'm a failure. I screwed up again. Why can't I stick to this plan? What is wrong with me? Blah, 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 chatter, 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 right? This is what we all do. But when you take emotion out of it, because I have people saying to me, well, I made a mistake and I ate a brownie and then it just threw me off and then I got started the next day and then I've struggled to get back on and I've had day one over and over and over again, right? Okay, so we all know that. But when you think about the numbers, just the pure numbers of this, if you eat all five of your fuelings and the one lean and green, you get 105 grams of protein in. So now if you ate a brownie, yeah, you're not in fat burn, but at least you have 105 grams of protein to counteract that 25 grams of sugar you ate in that brownie. Or maybe you're like some of us, just not saying, that you eat one brownie. And then once you kind of have that click in your brain, you have another brownie and then another brownie. And you're not eating like five brownies in a row. You're eating five brownies for the next six hours because they're sitting on your counter. You just keep eating whatever. I don't know which scenario is yours, five at one time or five through a grazing process. But realistically, those five brownies, yes, they have fat, but ultimately those five brownies are probably 125 carbohydrates, like all together, because they're about 25 a piece. But if you ate five brownies and it's 125 grams of carbs, you at least ate 105 grams of protein to help counter out that 125 grams of sugar. So people don't think about this in a numeric scenario. They think about it as I'm a failure, I went off plan, I ate a brownie, I'm out of fat burn for four days. So here is what I've been personally telling my clients and maybe some coaches wouldn't agree with this, but this is the way I compute success or not success. This is not an all or nothing scenario. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon of long-term health and wellness. So if you ate a brownie, you ate a brownie. Give yourself some grace and just realize it was a brownie that was 25 carbs. It was not a brownie after a brownie after a brownie and then you're starting over tomorrow and you ate another brownie and then you have a bowl of Lucky Charms and then you have a cinnamon roll and boom, you blow up eating all this stuff and because you stopped eating our fuelings and then you didn't have a lean and green, you just ate some Chinese food that was sitting in your fridge or whatever that day turns into, now you only had about 40 grams of protein in your body and that one brownie stopped the whole process. So if you can think about this in a different way to give yourself grace and if you ate something off plan, you stick to the process. So at least by the end of the day, you still had 105 grams of protein in your body. And the reality of this whole situation is a lot of people are just holding on till January 2nd and hoping to pull themselves up by their bootstraps January 2nd. Well, if you do like most people do, and you have a couple of fuelings in the morning and then the neighbor brings over cinnamon rolls and you eat one and then it turns into three and then you stop eating your fuelings. Now, if you do that for the next week, Guess what? You're going to be up about five pounds. But if you stick to the five and one with a cinnamon roll here, a brownie here, because that's just where you are emotionally, you maybe will only gain two pounds. But at least you've given your body 105 grams of protein to support your current muscle mass so you don't lose any muscle over the next week while you're eating random things. So give yourself some grace. Let you remind yourself nobody's perfect. And for me, if you're still watching this, I want to remind you, I am a health coach and I have a lot of coaches that say to me, how can I be a good coach when I'm not perfect on plan myself? And I'm like, well, let me flip the roles reversal to you. 
would you care if I was eating Twinkies all day long and weighed 200 pounds? Or would you care if I am eating perfect and weigh 130? You don't care what I'm putting in my mouth. You care about whether or not you can stay on program. So if you're considering becoming a coach, but you're not perfect on your plan, don't worry about it. What you have to offer and help other people get closer to their goal than not has nothing to do with what's going in your mouth. So if you're listening to this as a client or you're listening to this as a coach, give yourself some grace and know what you have can help other people even if you maybe aren't 100% on your game. So hope this spoke to somebody out there and please comment below if what I said spoke to you. Hope you're having a great holiday season and I'm right there with you January 2nd if you need some support. Have a great next couple days. Bye guys.